Hand sanitizer <laughs> certainly hard to come by these days, so Maryland distilleries are using alcohol to create it themselves. This is wonderful. WJZ is live. Stetson Miller tells us how McClintock Distillering in Frederick is stepping up to the plate to help out the community. Stetson. Denise, we probably all know by now that hand sanitizer has just been flying off the shelves at stores everywhere. So now places that don't normally carry it like the distillery we visited today are doing their part to help out with those shortage issues. McClintock Distilling in Frederick will soon be serving up a completely different kind of product. Normally we are Maryland's first and only organic certified distillery. We make whiskeys, gins, vodka. So now we have completely switched over production to making hand sanitizer. It's something they've never done before, but it's necessary because hand sanitizer is one of the hardest products to find during the coronavirus pandemic. They say the new move will help out the community. We're already built to produce large quantities of this. So really the only things that we needed to do is just blend it with these other ingredients. Have grains coming in from them, get milled right here, and it gets blown into the mash tank. Co-founder Brandon Bumper says that by combining the alcohol they normally make with glycerin and hydrogen peroxide, they'll be able to create their first test batch of the sanitizer by early next week. This will be future hand sanitizer here. The distillery should create about a thousand liters of it will go to the people that need it most. We are targeting first responders, uh, assisted living, retirement communities, and nonprofits. They're joining a long list of distilleries across the country, pitching in to do what they can during these tough times. While there's still shortages, we just want to keep producing, keep donating it, keeping people safe here in Frederick. Brennan says right now they have no plans to sell the hand sanitizer. They're just donating it, and they hope to eventually make it available to the general public in Frederick County. Reporting live for WJZ, I'm Stetson Miller.